everybody, it's Nancy, and I'm here today to be doing a guided drawing with you. It's gonna be really fun, I hope that you're ready. All you're going to need is a piece of white paper. Any paper will do. This is a piece of drawing paper that I've got. And you need something to draw with. I've got a pencil, I've got a Sharpie, I've got colored pencils and markers, whatever you have handy that feels good. The Sharpie is really fun because it kind of is, you really commit to doing it. So have fun with that if you use it. Do remember that Sharpies are forever. So try not to draw on yourself or on your clothes. All right, so I've got my rectangular paper and it is in the position that's vertical. I want it to be vertical, which is not horizontal. Horizontal is the long way. You may know that as uh, the long way is the hot dog for some people and the tall way is the hamburger. Now I'm hungry, oh my gosh. Okay, let's get started. So take your pen or your, pens, your pencil or whatever you've got and I'd like you to draw this line. It looks a little bit like a mountain uh, or an upside down U and it's kind of big. It starts about here, a little below half and it goes up and down. Oh yeah, that looks good, something like that, okay? So again, sort of a little mountain shape, nothing fancy. Got that? I hope you're doing this along with me because this is the fun part. If you're not doing it along with me, I'll just take a pause and you can run and get your pencil and your paper because you want to do it at the same time as me. Okay, so next I have a very, very lovely mark that is just a funny little shape and it starts right kind of below the top of this little mountain shape that we just drew. And it looks a bit like a kind of a flattened out two um, and with a wiggly tail. So it goes right about here and it goes meow, meow. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like that little flattened out too with a wiggly tail. All right, so that little shape, wait, you're wondering what? What am I drawing? No, I'm not telling you, it's our secret. So the next step is we're going to be doing another sort of numbery shape and it's gonna go below this flattened out too with a wiggly tail and it's sort of a 70 shape and it kind of goes like that. Whoa, that had a long whooshy tail too, which is quite good. So the 70 shape, about that big, right below the two, looks a bit like a 27, doesn't it? Funny, it does look a little sad though, like it might fall over, so I think I might, might just take a sec and draw a little leg to come off on this side, just to kind of keep that seven. It doesn't touch the seven, it just sort of starts over there to the left of it. Now, I'm feeling like I've got a lot going on there. I've got not a whole lot happening down here, so, uh, on the on the theme of mountains and things like that, I think I'm gonna throw a cloud down here just because clouds are great and I think that that would be really fun. So again, you don't know what you're drawing. I don't know what I'm drawing. We're just drawing. I'm gonna make a cloud. There we go. That looks pretty good. Something along those lines like that. Whatever you end up drawing is exactly the right mark you were supposed to make. So give yourself a break. Take the pressure off. All right, nice cloud action down there. Let's head back up to the top of the mountain again. And up here, I think on the left side, I'd like a little shape like that. Just a little, kind of like a hair almost. What, oh my goodness, this is looking weird. I like it. So that sort of little shape that went up there like that, it's sort of sticking out a little bit on its own. Maybe yours looks just like mine. Maybe it looks different, that's okay. Now it's time to think about Hmm, cursive. I kind of wonder if they teach cursive anymore in school. I don't know. I remember we had to learn it when I was a kid and it looks a little bit like a shape that's gonna start on the left-hand side over next to, I'm getting ready, I'm getting my cursive hand vibe going and I'm gonna just kind of do a little wiggly, 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 wiggly. Whoa, that was fun. It looks like I just wrote someone's name. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I just wrote, but I'm liking it. So I now have my paper, my composition, which is how things are on your paper, how it ends up looking. Um, feels pretty good. I think there's just a couple of little spaces. I feel it's kind of a little boring over here. I like the empty space over here. Let me just do, you know, I rather like football. Do you guys like football? I think it's pretty cool. So I'm thinking I might just do, maybe I'm gonna put a football right here. 
and maybe another one over here because I like a lot of football. And those look a little sad and lonely, so I think I'm just going to put like a little swirly in the middle. All right, I think I did it. Looks good. How does yours look? You ready to see? It's now time for the reveal. What? Look what we drew. Can you believe it? Look what we drew. Can you believe it? Do you see it? Do you see the face? So exciting, so weird. You drew that without even realizing it. The neat part about that is your brain didn't know what was happening. Your bossy brain side that only thinks it knows what to do because it's already done it before, well, that side of your brain was quiet for a little while because it didn't know what we were doing. The best part about that is that your other side of your brain, the right side of your brain, the one that's right for drawing, was able to take over for a little while, right? It was able to just have fun and play and trust and draw lines and we ended up making something that looks a little bit like this. So what we made was inspired by uh, Henri Matisse. Some people know him as Henri. If you know me, I like to say his name like I'm French. And he was a very cool dude. He loved to draw. He loved to use whatever he had to draw on. He was even known for drawing on his walls. This is actually a drawing of a guy called Le Pompadour, which is French for fancy hairdo which I kind of like very much because that's what we drew. When we drew a cloud, we didn't realize that we were drawing the fluffy hairdo. So Henri Matisse uh, created this artwork called Le Pompadour, um, and he was an interesting fellow. He was actually wanted to be, when he was a young man, about the age of 18 in 1889, a long time ago. He's not around anymore, you can imagine. Uh, he wanted to be a lawyer. He was pretty sure of it until he got sick and he got appendicitis, which is very painful if you ever had it. You can't do much. So he had to go into the hospital and he was bored in the hospital. He was quite, you might imagine how it would be in the hospital, quite, quite a lot of time to sit and think and without a TV at that time in uh, the world. His mom was nice enough to bring him some art supplies. And what happened was he discovered that he loved art. What Mr. Matisse decided was that not only did he love to make art, but he loved how he felt when he made it. He found it was a kind of paradise. He's uh, pretty hooked at that point. So, so much for being a lawyer. Um, you know, you can see in the images here different drawings that he's done. He's also well known for being a painter too. Some of his work you might have seen. Um, and here's an image of him. He is enjoying a wonderful, wonderful um, project. He's doing a mural project for the dance. Here are some other images of some of Henri Matisse's artwork. He's known for doing these very simple line drawings that are quite fantastic and seemingly easy, but not always so easy once you try it. On the bottom image, you'll see that he has got um, a long stick, and on the end of it, he's got a piece of charcoal. And the charcoal is like a big piece of lead, and he could draw like, um, like your pencil lead. And he could draw far away up onto the wall. This is an image of him creating the sketch for uh, La Dance, which is a lovely, beautiful, beautiful artwork that he's got um, in France. So I hope you enjoyed today. I think that uh, was a very lovely experiment and I hope that you had a good time cutting loose of the busy brain and just letting your artist take over. And uh, I'll see you next time.